Thank you very much. That, that was perfect. Yeah, I was born in Tucson when my folks were going to the University of Arizona. I broke their hearts and became a sun devil. Uh, my youngest son returned the favor and graduated from U of A a couple years ago. So we have some very interesting uh, football and basketball weekends at the Bennett home. Um, but I know our time is short and I'm just going to jump right into what I've been asked to uh, address today, which is kind of a, an overview of the state budget. Now, some may ask, and, and I apologize to those who have seen this, in fact, poor Jack Sellers, your vice mayor, uh, whispered to me that, or admitted to me when I asked around the table, did anybody seen this? He, yeah, four times. Is that uh, so I apologized to him, and then he told me that um, Chris was the most important person in all of Chandler who is following me, and uh, we won't let that get back to Mayor Tim Schraney, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, so we want to have time for her update on uh, Chandler's end of, of kind of an economic update and that. But why is the Secretary of State talking about kind of an overview of the state budget? Because I really don't have any role over the state budget as Secretary of State other than my little teeny tiny agency. But I was president of the state senate for four years, was in the senate for eight years. And so I became, uh, I hope, fairly knowledgeable as to how the budget is put together, where the money goes. And after I left the Senate because of term limits, I was working back in the private sector, which I've actually done longer than I've had a, a public service career. I ran a family business in Prescott, and so I signed the fronts of checks, not just the back. And um, then I'll kind of go into a synopsis of the state budget, what's happened over the last uh, four or five years, and where are we at right today. We even have an update for, for the 13 budget and talk about what the challenges will be for the legislature and the governor in adopting the state budget. Now I'm going to start with a presentation that uh, when I went back to the uh, private sector after being in the Senate, I was working with uh, some folks up in a company up in Scottsdale and one of my coworkers in 2009, I think it was, started asking me about the state budget because that's when the budget was in terrible shape and, and the revenue was dropping like terrible and Arizona's budget deficit was the second worst in the country. Our 31.5% shortfall in the general fund budget back in about 2009 was second only to California whose budget deficit was about 32 percent. So we're 31 and a half percent, they're 32 percent, and people start asking me, how does this, how did this happen? And where does our money go and where does it come from? And so one co-worker was, was a lady who belonged to a women's lunch club up in North Scottsdale or Phoenix, the Creative Women of Pinnacle Peak. 200 ladies get together for lunch once a month, and they asked me to come and explain the state budget in 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, so I think, how am I gonna explain the budget to a bunch of creative women, I assume? And so I thought, well, I'm gonna use um, some visual aids. So I thought, well, maybe I can build the budget with some boxes, and I go around the house looking for what I could use, and I walk in the pantry, and my wife had just returned from Costco or somewhere, and there was this big tree, Walmart probably, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was Walmart. Uh, big shrink wrap thing of Kleenex boxes, and so I ripped them, ripped them up all apart and started. So I'm going to build the state budget using Kleenex boxes. Each box is one billion dollars that the state spends each year. Now I'm going to start with what is usually what you hear about when you hear the phrase the state budget. That's the general fund. The general fund is the main pot of money that the legislature and the governor have to decide how to spend each year. The general fund comes from two primary sources of, of revenue of taxes. The slightly larger of the two are sales taxes that we collect at Walmart's and other places throughout the, the state and city. The other is income tax, both what we pay personally out of our paychecks and what businesses pay if they make a profit. So corporate and, and personal income tax and sales taxes is what feeds the general fund. You'll notice I didn't mention property tax. The state government relies almost nothing on zero on property tax. Most property tax goes to local governments like cities and towns, the counties, uh, school districts, community colleges, street lighting, fire control districts, uh, flood control, lots of local government funded by property tax. But the state budget comes from sales taxes and income taxes. Now, when I started doing this presentation, the, the general fund, as I've mentioned, was at about $10.5 billion that year. It's been less than that, got higher than that, it's back down to a little bit less than that now. 
But the proportions of where the money goes stays surprisingly similar from one year to another. Doesn't matter whether the budget's at 9 billion or 10 billion or 11 billion, the percentages of where the money goes stays pretty much the same. So I'm gonna just jump right into what the budget looked like uh, a couple years ago, and then I'll bring it right up to current. When the general fund is at ten and a half billion dollars, and I'm going to have to put this, uh, I'm, I'll speak loud. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when the general fund budget was ten and a half billion dollars, almost half of it goes to the K-12 school system, and that's that's true whether, as I said, the budget's at eight and a half or nine or ten or eleven or whatever. Almost half of the general fund budget goes to the K-12 schools. This is the 227 school districts around the state, uh, over 500 charter schools, which are public schools, the State Department of Education, the State Board of Education, School Facilities Board that builds all the facilities for the traditional district schools, uh, School for the Deaf and Blind that the state runs in Phoenix, Tucson. Everything related to K-12 education usually takes almost half, half of the general fund, or five, of, five billion when it was 10 and a half. <clears throat> Then there's a little over a billion that goes to the higher education system. That's the three state universities and the community college system. There's also a little over a billion that goes to the prison and court system and some state law enforcement functions like the highway patrol. But the largest chunk by far, over 900 million of this box, <coughs> so almost all it is, is the state department of corrections that runs the state prison system. These two, higher education and the prisons and court, were actually about two and a half billion at the time. Uh, but the higher education system was the slightly larger of those two, so I'll, I'll put that half over there. Then there's about two and a half billion dollars a year that goes to a variety of programs in what I call health and welfare. The largest single program here is our indigent health care system which we call ACCESS, Arizona Health Care Cost Containment System. If an individual or family is below a certain income level, they qualify for ACCESS and the state pays for their medical expenses. But this two and a half billion also includes some other pretty sizable state agencies. Uh, Department of uh, Economic Security, the Department of Health Services, um, Altex, Arizona Long-Term Care System, which is financial assistance to the elderly in nursing homes. Uh, the State Mental Hospital, the Department of Developmentally Disabled, uh, Child Protective Services, the State Lab, um, might be some others, but those are the big ones and a few others. But the largest is ACCESS. And all of them combines about two and a half billion dollars. All of the rest of the state government that is paid for out of the general fund adds up to less than half a billion dollars a year. And it's literally all of the other state agencies, all the way from the governor's office and the legislature, down to all of the little boards and commissions, the Funeral and Embalmers Board and the Lettuce Council. And, yeah, we have a Lettuce Council. <laughs> and the Iceberg guys don't get along with the other ones, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think they do, but I think that's good. Um, and then all of the other state agencies, so all of the other departments that aren't in these four categories. So your Department of Agriculture and Banking and Commerce and Tourism and Veteran Affairs and the Department of Revenue that collects all the taxes and land department and real estate and on and on and on. But all of them combined add up to about a half a billion dollars. So there's the general fund. Ten and a half billion dollars a couple years ago, a few years ago. About half to K-12. About a fourth to health and welfare. About 10% each to higher education and the prison and court system. And everything else combined is about half, 5% or less. But the general fund's not the only pot of money that we spend. There's another, the, the next group of money that the legislature appropriates each year are called other funds. Not a very creative name, but that's what we call them. Other funds are usually taxes or fees that we collect on activities throughout the state or industries, but the money usually has to be spent in those areas. For example, we spend about a billion dollars a year of these other funds on the state highway and transportation system. Now this billion dollars of taxes comes from two taxes. The largest by far are the taxes that we pay when we buy gasoline or diesel fuel to go in our vehicles. When you buy a gallon of gasoline, you pay between 43 and 52 uh, and diesel, 43 and 52 cents a gallon of tax. 
About half of it goes to the federal government to run the federal highways, the I-10s, the I-17s, the I-40s, and the other half goes to the state highway system, the 101s and the 202s and the rural highways and on and on and on. The other tax that goes to transportation are the little license tags that we have to pay for our vehicles each year. So there's about a billion dollars that goes to transportation. Of these other funds, there's also about a billion dollars that goes to the health and welfare system. This billion dollars comes from taxes, most of it comes from taxes on two products, and you can probably guess what they are. Cigarette, tobacco, and alcohol. The taxes on those products generates about a billion dollars a year, but most of it goes to health-related programs, many of which are helping people with problems from cigarettes and alcohol. <laughs> then there's about a half a billion dollars that goes to the higher education system from these other funds, and there's hundreds of other little programs that add up to about a half a billion. So now the state funds each year are about 13 and a half billion, 10 and a half through the general fund, three of the other. And before I go to the last big category that the state keeps track of, which is all the federal money that comes into the state, it's important, especially in education, to illustrate that in addition to the state money that is spent primarily in education, uh, they receive their share of the local property tax money that I was talking about earlier that doesn't go through the state. It's collected at the local level and a school district gets their part. For example, in the K-12 school system, in addition to the uh, almost $5 billion that goes into K-12 from the state funds, i got to put a stick back here to hold it up. It's called propping up the state budget. But anyway. <laughs> in addition to the about $5 billion that was going to K-12, 